For f, we've got some factorising to do again. 4x squared take away 25. That could be factorised. It's a difference of two squares again. I've got 2x minus 5 and 2x plus 5 for the first bit. Down the bottom there, we've got four lots of x take away 10. So a 2 goes into that. I've got an x minus 5 again. It's a divide, so I'm going to change it to a times, and I'm going to flip this upside down. I've got an 8 and a 2x plus 5. So that one cancels with that one. The 2x minus 5 with the 2x minus 5. So I've got an 8 on the top and a 2 on the bottom. 8 divided by 2 makes 4. Uh, for G, so lots of factorising again for G. It's a times this time. So I've got x plus 3 on the top. On the bottom there, uh, the x squared plus 10x plus 25 is an x plus 5 all squared. Uh, on the top there, I've got x squared times plus 5x. So cancelling out the x, sorry factorizing out the x for that one there and again the same on the bottom there's an x and, and an x plus three there cancelling x plus five with the x plus five x with the x the x plus three with the x plus three so be a bit careful here the answer isn't x plus five because the x plus five is on the bottom so it's one over x plus five is the answer for g for h, I've got 3y squared. Now, this is where the people that have struggled to factorise um, have got an issue. So it's 3y squared plus 4y minus 4. Uh, and that will factorise to 3y minus 2 and y plus 2. On the bottom of that one, I've got a 10. And I'm timesing by flipping this one upside down. 15 over 3 lots of y plus 2. The y plus 2 will cancel with that y plus 2. You can't cancel this 3 with that 3 because it's uh, not the full factor. But you can say 5s into that go 3 and 5s into that go 2. And then these two 3s here can cancel. So I think everything's gone except for the 3y minus 2 and this 2 here on the bottom there. So there's h. And the last one we've got then. So the last one is a um, bit of factorising on the top here. So we've got x plus y, all squared actually, x plus y times x plus y over 2 times by 4 over, and I'm going to write x minus y, x minus y there. Um, but we can't do any cancelling with those things there. None of that will actually cancel. The only thing we've got is that 4 cancels with the 2, there are two of them. So my answer here is 2x plus y all squared. I'm just going to put that as a squared. And x minus y all squared there. Don't consider cancelling these squares because, of course, these are different brackets. And so that's the end of i.